Well, welcome to Earth Science, everybody. Here is the setup for the eccentricity lab, for the ellipse lab. What you are going to need, basically this stuff, you're going to need a star, our sun, maybe another star, whatever. This is going to be a slightly complicated concept at first, but we'll get used to it. This is going to be focus number two. Your sun is going to be at focus number one. The other space is going to be focus number two. And if you talk about that in a plural sense, they're the two foci. All right, if that's a panic thing, don't let it be a panic thing yet. No big deal. We're going to have two thumbtacks. How about that? You're going to need the force of gravity, which we're going to represent with a string. Easy for me to grab. There we go. The force of gravity. A string. You're going to need four different colored pencils that are reasonably sharp and that you are able to distinguish between the colors. You're going to need a piece of paper that's folded hot dog style. That's what they tell me, that's hot dog style. You can put that down either way. I'm going upside down. All right. Each partner is going to do this. Now, I don't have enough stuff for everybody to grab all this. I don't know when everybody's going to be doing the lab. So you can work with a partner. But I want each partner to do this paper thing once. It doesn't take a long time, you're going to be okay, and one partner can do it, then the other partner can do it. You'll all be all right. It will mean that you have slightly different measurements, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do to start this off is I'm going to start with my sun, and we're going to try to determine the shape of some different orbits. So what I'm going to do is... Maybe it's easier if it is upside down. Put it right on the fold right there, stick it into this board, and put the string around it to draw a shape, all right? Now, let's, let's talk for a minute about how I did this. I don't know how well this will focus. Not bad. See how this is up a little bit off the surface of the cardboard? Here's a drawing of what I'm looking for. If this is the case, this is going to make your measurements more accurate. This lab is going to be something you do on the Regents, like actually physically do a lab. I don't know if you guys did this because of COVID. You may have not had a lab practical in middle school. This state test has a lab practical, meaning there are three lab stations you're going to actually do in front of me as part of the Regents. So let's really think about accuracy um, and how to do that. If you put the string up around this like plastic part, your measurement is going to be off by that much. Now, is that a big deal? It may not seem like it, but it can be enough to throw you off in the regents. And couple this with the idea that for most of the experiment, we're going to be doing it with two. There's going to be one here and then another thumbtack, so it would really be the width of that twice. And again, that may not feel like a big deal, but it is enough to throw you off. So the way I do mine is that it's up a little bit from the cardboard so that my string is really leaning right against the pin. And these boards are pretty good. They keep it uh, from being too wiggly. And please be respectful of them. Don't poke 600 holes in them. Please. All right, here's the job. I can't do it one hand. You're going to need two hands to do this. But number one, the first one you do, it's going to be to take your colored pencil and draw the shape. And hint, hint, it's going to be a circle, right? It's going to be a circle because it's all the same distance. It's all the same radius from this pin right here. Now, here's the trick. And this is going to save you getting back, like, being done with this and putting it all away and saying, oh crap, I don't know which one was which. i got to start all over. The trick is going to be that you just made that circle in whatever color you chose. When you pick up this pin, color it in a little bit like that, right over the hole. So that we know, oh yeah, that was my yellow one. That goes with my yellow circle. And I know I didn't draw my yellow circle because I can't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. Okay? So you'll have, that's going to be number one, is that color and that shape, right? So now number two, we're going to move on and we're going to use the other three colors. We're going to do four total of these. What I want you to do is to move your star over a little bit, say a centimeter-ish, but don't grab a ruler and measure it yet. Just chuck, chuck it about a centimeter out, about like that. Now we're going to also involve foci, foci number two, and that's going to go on there, about a centimeter out in the other direction. Are those perfect, like, measurement-wise, from here to here to here to here? Doesn't really matter, honestly. You got that one in there, you got that one in there, we're good. Alright, so now what you're going to do, is your string should really be on the pins of both. Okay, remember what we talked about. If it's up around this plastic, that slight bit of thickness might cause you 
to lose some points, so don't do it. Keep it right. That's bad. We don't want that. Use two hands, which I can't do because of this camera. Get it right along there. Grab yourself your next color, whichever one you choose, and draw the shape. I don't know. Not bad. You can do better than that, but not bad. All right. Now, again, keep yourself from being confused. Yank those and say, oh, that one was in red. I need this to be in red, too. That was red. That was red. Coloring it over the holes so we know that yellow was number one, red is number two. Whatever colors you choose, they might be different. It's fine. Okay? You're going to do that a total of four times. So for your next color, go out a little bit more. Pin right about here, pin right about here, draw it in that color. And then for your final color, out a little bit more from each one of those. About a centimeter each time. You certainly don't want to go any wider than your string. That makes it kind of difficult to deal with. And by difficult, I mean mathematically impossible. Okay? Check before you put everything away. You should have one single color going with one here, and then three separate sets of two. Like, maybe there was blues there. Greens there. And they'll each go with a shape. Now, take a step back and look. This whole thing's going to be about, like, the relationships. What has happened throughout the course of this lab. As those pins have gotten further apart, a term we're going to define as focal distance. As those pins have gotten farther apart, what has happened to the shape that you draw? And we're going to avoid, and I'm going to mention this on the other sheet too, we're going to avoid using larger and smaller. The size doesn't really have anything to do with it. If I give you a different string, it would be a different size. What I want to know is what happens to the actual shape. And that's going to uh, like rope, revolve around how circular is it? Is it like a perfect circle, like your one in the middle technically is? Or is it not? Does it get a little bit flattened and what we're going to call elliptical? So notice that pattern. As they go out, what happens to the shape? Once that sets, and again, without poking a thousand holes into this board, return those pins to me, return the string to me, colored pencils back to the back, this thing back to the back, and uh, we're ready for the next part. Good job. Keep it up with your earth science.